Hello, Dr. Oscar Marin here with another case of the week. And this week's unusual case is starting to become more usual than we would like. This week, I saw one of my patients that I had not seen since late 2019. He was over in mid-2020 and the office was open, but for some patients, they did not feel comfortable coming back until they were fully vaccinated. When he finally came back, we took some routine x-rays and I was very surprised by what I saw. He had developed large cavities on multiple teeth. And I had to go back and look at the x-rays that we took two years earlier just to make sure that I did not miss them back then. But no, these cavities had developed in a very short period of time when a patient that has no history of getting cavities and is otherwise healthy. He did not change any of his routine habits, but the only time I have seen this sudden damage is when people undergo changes in their diet. Now, his diet remained about the same, but the one thing he did different is that he started taking vitamin C. Vitamin C you can find in different presentations. However, he chose the dissolvable tablets. The problem here is that vitamin C is an acid. It is ascorbic acid, and it has an acidity level or a pH level of 2.5, which is similar to that of lemon juice. We know that saliva's pH is a neutral 7.2 and that enamel starts losing mineral at about 5.5. Usually saliva production increases after you eat something acidic and your mouth is cleansed and neutralized. The problem in the case of this patient is that he left the tablets dissolve between the teeth and the cheek. And he reported that he was doing these two or three times a day. So essentially the teeth were put in an acid bath three times a day for about a year. Frankly, after hearing these, we were both shocked, first at the severity of the damage and at the fact that there is absolutely no awareness about the potential outcome of letting vitamin C dissolve in your mouth. The last time I remember seeing a similar case was when a patient that was on some diet and she kept sipping this sweet acidic tea all day. And in her case, the damage was less severe but more generalized. See, on the case of the vitamin tablets, he was keeping them in one place. But the tea was literally bathing the teeth and that can make a difference in the pattern of decay. So I made these videos because this information is not easily available to the public and it should be passed along so other people don't have to suffer the same unfortunate consequences. And speaking about information that is not available to the public, you should check out our last video about fake claims in toothpaste advertising that are hurting consumers like you. Please subscribe if you want to get more videos that will help you make better decisions about your health. Take care and I'll see you next time.